So saving money with food, it's a big deal. Food's gone up. And the thing, I mean, it's always been like this, but it seems more true today than ever, is that uh, you're paying for the labor that goes into the food. And so one thing I want to mention is ground meats. You buy hamburger, ground pork, ground chicken, ground turkey, any of those things, you're paying for someone to grind it. And it, it's fairly significant. Uh, chicken, chicken breasts or thighs or whatever, sometimes I can purchase at, you know, between uh, one and two dollars or two and a half dollars a pound. Now, getting ground meat, ground chicken, that's usually is like five dollars a pound. It's fairly expensive. Same thing with pork. pork. I can get pork really inexpensively sometimes, but again, once it's ground, it's it's a lot. So that's why I'm suggesting this. Now, I had mentioned before about the KitchenAid mixers. One of the good things about them is that all the old models fit all the accessories. So this is the uh, yeah, this is English. there's English and different things on it, but this is the food grinder. I used this yesterday. It's easy to hitch to the uh, KitchenAid mixer and uh, just put the meat in it. Practically pulled the meat through. You cut it up. It works better if the meat's a little cold or they even said partially frozen. But the idea is it goes through, it's drawn through, and comes out here. You have a bowl that captures it. So uh, I, I don't know how much I spent for this attachment. My mother gave me her KitchenAid mixer that she used forever and you know she used it a lot and it's still going strong uh this says i paid 20 for it i'm not sure if that's real or i get it from sometimes i bought things at uh christmas fairs and things like that churches have and they'll sometimes have the uh uh goodwill tag on them where someone's got them and but this is one of those items that people you know you tend to get and you don't use and then, I, as I was mentioning before, with a uh, KitchenAid mixer, it's possible to pick one instead of paying like, they were like 270 when I was going through Walmart. Of course, it's different grades, but I'm talking about the, the basic model. And uh, so $270, or I've seen them routinely on the marketplace and other places, eBay. Sometimes you can pick them up for $25, especially if you're looking locally. So I would check. Craigslist, I would check uh, the marketplace on Facebook and, and try to put in, you know, with Facebook, you put in so many miles from your house where you're willing to travel. And uh, it, it just, to me, is a no-brainer that even if this did cost me 20 uh, every time I grind, grind meat with it, I'm saving, saving $1 to $3. And uh, we did uh, chicken tacos last night so we we you know it's the the thing that you buy a kit it's all made you just add the the water and the meat which they say to add hamburger well we had the ground chicken instead it came out great tasted great and also too that if you're concerned about the calories and the fat chicken is a is better as far as that is it has less fat in it less calories in it but with all the protein and everything you, that you need. So it's not like you're skimping. So, and you can buy, and these are at yard sales too sometimes, is the completely manual unit. They'll clamp onto a table and, it, and you, just, you just crank a thing. My parents had one of those and they, my goodness, they used to make this relish that was a you know, hot dog relish type thing, hamburger. I was just out of this world, and I can still remember them spending hours making it. You know, they grind everything up with that manual grinder, and they made big batches because they'd can it and then set it aside. But, you know, it's so much easier when you have something. I don't know where they're, you know, probably back, we're going back, you know, uh, go back, you know, 40, 50 years. Probably the only attachments for these were still might have been really expensive and might not have been available without spending a lot on it. Or it could be that my dad just, no, oh, we're not going to do that. We're going to do it by hand. And, but another good thing about this is it allows you to control the ingredients. 
So uh, you can, you know, you decide what cuts of meat you want. You can uh, do certain things to it too. Uh, you could, uh, you know, when my kids were younger and the budgets are really tight, we used to take hamburger and we'd have, we figured out that we could add about a third of, of soy protein uh, called uh, not beef. That was brand name. And it's still available, I believe, from Win Dixie. But we would put that in and mix it in with the hamburger. And it extended the hamburger, of course. The, the, the soy product was way cheaper than the meat. Cut down on fat and everything. So it, it really worked. And uh, But now uh, they're not so crazy about using soy protein because soy protein, I'm looking for something here. I guess I don't. Oh, here it is. Uh, soy protein, they figured out uh, the isolate uh, that you buy, uh, the textured vegetable protein that mimics estrogen. One of the molecules is similar enough, so it gets into your body and it uh, can cause effects if you eat a lot of it. I mean, they were even selling, and I still see them advertise, uh, pills for women to take over the counter for change of life. And basically, what are they? They're just a soy tablet that has that in it. And they've even come out now and said that men should only have a certain amount of soy protein every day so they don't, you know, start having uh, problems from it. But what's happened now is, and this is just an example, we now switch to pea protein until we find out what's wrong with that. But basically, uh, you can take something like this and mix it in and uh, extend things that way. Although this this probably wouldn't work that good in this form because this is a powder. You'd have to see if you could find it, you know, in a shape. One of the things that the, the texture vegetable protein has, uh, it has a certain shape that it's going to retain after you cook it. So that way putting, say you put it in with chicken and you season it, uh, you'll be eating some bites that are real chicken and some bites that are textured vegetable protein. And yeah, you're going to be able to tell the difference. But again, uh, like I say, it, it can be used in places and it will hold its shape. Unlike some types of, uh, oh, what did they call the uh, soy tofu? Tofu can't hold up well. Even the real firm stuff through a lot of cooking and stuff, it kind of comes out like all of a sudden you're eating you know, you eat something mushy, not meat. So anyway, there we go. We could find a product like this. Uh, but with with the KitchenAid or similar uh, grinding attachments, every time you run a pound of meat through it, and you're saving anywhere between $1 and $3 each time. Not a bad deal. Bye.